Hello and welcome to New Seeking Missile, or NSM for short, or, um, Nussum. Nussum, yes, that's, that's good, I like it. Remember, it's Nussum, rhymes with Pussum. So, for all you first time watchers, I'm Biff Chickasaw, and this floating text, I guess, I'm assuming you're gonna put something in here later, Ke Kenneth, is my editor Kenneth, my champion of post production, priceless or maybe worthless, I don't know. <laughs> Just joking with you, bud. Uh, so, New Seeking Missile is a news report that comes from the heart, the gut, and I guess everything below the nipple area, and it is always right on target, except for the occasional time when we're not, which is just collateral damage. And of course, we can sweep that under the rug. Uh, coincidentally, we have a very large rug in this office. Florida Governor Jeb Bush announced his bid for the presidency this week. He'll be banking on the fact that Americans can keep something chugging along, despite widespread critical derision. So here's to the Bush family, the Transformers franchise of presidents. Personally, I can't wait for the year 2044, when we have, uh, we want her, whoever she is in the presidency, and on the silver screen, Transformers Rise of the Dinobots Origins Legends Part 2. The reboot. Music. It dramatically changes the tone of everything. Here's a spinning burger for proof. <laughs> Classic spinning burger. Ah, uh, you know, I would buy his merchandise. I would buy his bootleg merchandise, too. Hey, <laughs> so Oh, no. Just as I feared. No! The prophecy is nigh! One woman, Yoe Shai, decided it would be best if... If she's doing her thing, I guess. <laughs> would be best if elevator music was manipulative to build community. This seems pretty admirable. Sticking it to the man when they're trying to make it complacent. They admit, though, that promoting community is a very very plastic and somewhat meaningless term at best. It's also somewhat creepy. Please remember that I'm always watching you. I mean, well, what you've been watching right now is actually the horror movie Elevator, synced up to music from the show. I don't know about you, but I think it fits oddly well. Alright, to try and be subversive to something that is manipulative and creepy by being a little bit manipulative and creepy? I don't know. Maybe we'll find out later, because evidently, the people involved in this have been contacted by background music companies. I sent a pizza emoji to my best friend, and she sent me this. I sent a pizza emoji to my brother, and he sent me this. I sent one to Domino's, and they delivered my favorite pizza. Only Domino's gets me. Now you can use an emoji. Wait, 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 hold on. Can we, can we interrupt our own sponsored content? You know what, I don't care, I'm doing it anyway. This is just baffling the more you think about it. I mean, I mean, do you usually send letters to your grandma that are codes that when you decode them, they say, I want some Chinese food? WHY NOT GO TO THE CHINESE FOOD PLACE?! It's just weird and wrong and illogical and there are all these middlemen and l let's watch it again. I sent a pizza emoji to my best friend and she sent me this. Did Domino's reverse a engineer a teenager by just looking at phone conversations? I sent a pizza emoji to my brother and he sent me this. I think he's calling you a bitch. 
A pizza bitch. <laughs> Wordplay. I sent one to Domino's and they delivered my favorite pizza. Only Domino's gets me. They understand you because they created you! <laughs> It just feels so wrong. So wrong. Is that something here? So this is what New Singing Missile calls a news euthanization. I just made that name up now. I guess it's sticking with it. Make a little logo there, Kenneth. What we're going to do is we're going to take this old news. You know, it's been neglected. It hasn't been covered by any of these mainstream media sources. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it out of its misery once and for all. So, 12 states in the past year have legalized gay marriage. And this is, understandably, what Rand Paul, son of America's favorite dwarf lord, has called a moral crisis. What we have now is four cases in the Supreme Court. Um, let's see. Obervel versus Hodges. Hodge? Ober... Obgerf... Obgerf... I need some glasses. Obergefell versus Hodges in Ohio, Tanko versus Haslam in Tennessee, DeBoer versus Snyder in uh, Michigan, and Burke versus Bashir in Kentucky. So by the next episode, hopefully, we'll see how these play out. Uh, if it's constitutionally illegal to withhold gay marriage rights in these four states. But before this has happened, most of the media have already decided. The purveyors of the gay agenda are very quickly undergoing a transformation. Going like, much like a Laotian ladyboy power bottering Chris Bear Shekels on the subway scene, known in Vietnam as doing dong for dong, to a model in Muscular Man Meat Monthly magazine. You may assume that the fact that I am using all of this terminology means that I am invested in the subculture. <laughs> There has been a long time, what some people might call, double standard in media where plots about gay and lesbian couples have been rated R without question. Whereas before, stories about lesbians have stayed where they ought to be in borderline pornography as high art, like blue is the warmest color, orange is the new black, and pink is the color of my true love. That last one might have just been a straight up porno. Um, this is affecting people that don't really have any choice, the children. In this New Seeking Missile special report. Hello everybody, live from a soundstage several months ago! <laughs> children, their hobbies include bright colors and being impressionable. That's why this special report is especially tragic. Normally, of course, in cartoons you can't say kill, and you can't dare say that any LGBTQ, people exist. But the past year has changed that, starting out with a Disney Channel sitcom, Good Luck Charlie, putting in a lesbian couple for a joke. I met the mom, Susan, she's really nice. Oh, I met her. Uh, I thought her name was Cheryl. No, it's Susan. Are you sure? Am I sure that I'm right and you're wrong? Always. Hi! Taylor has two moms. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing gets past you, Bob. But Disney, it's no joke, because several months later, in October, the show Clarence had a similar punchline, although this punchline punched harder because it included a somewhat edited kiss between the two characters. <laughs> Exactly what I was thinking, random background character that I've appeared in. That's exactly what I was thinking. And that's why we're giving them this. <laughs> These two shows have put in characters that were minor or just one off, but what happens when a main character 
happens to be LGBTQMRIP. Well, I'll tell you, that's that's what that's the video doesn't end here. Let's do it. Let's go on a vacation, just the two of us. Anywhere you want. Really? Okay. I've always wanted to see what the spirit world's like. Sounds perfect. The Legend of Korra, the finale revealed that the titular character and her friend had romantic feelings for each other. Because they didn't kiss, we can still depend on our old friend, plausible deniability, and stubbornly say, just friends, just friends, just friends, just friends, just friends! So, no kiss, and no repercussions, because this happened in the final 30 seconds of the final episode of the show. Kids aren't really educated to know when a gaze means that you want to pose. This is a victory! There will always be plausible deniers because the networks don't want to take the heat. And because there's one milestone that will never be passed. It's getting characters to fuck on a kid's TV show. I'm being told that, that is, in fact, unlikely. Yeah. Yeah. Get it. Mm. 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 Get in there, girl. Did they just get characters to fuck on a kid's TV show? And is that T-Pain? Well, I can answer one of those questions. There's definitely T-Pain, who is a fan, I guess. And, uh, uh, huh. you know what? Huh. You know, how often does that happen to you? You think a person is one person, but they turn out to be space lesbians. The most dangerous kind. You know Pretty what's common. nice about being split up? What? Mm. I get to look uh, at are you. you? Uh, are you it's, uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Be serious. There's my laugh, you said. Uh, okay. You're embarrassing well, me. Well, I have to ask the same question that I ask when I look at the first result on Google for the word Nazi. Why? I mean, no, seriously, why? Kids are going to read that. L look at that. It goes right to the American Nazi Party. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. Is that just my search history? I don't know. Is that just Google? Is that... I mean, you know what? Forget about even staying in character. I mean... All right. You know what? Through connections, I'm going to contact Larry Page and tell him to change this. Kenneth, get Larry Page on the phone. Hey, Larry. Larry, baby. Larry. Yeah. Larry. Larry. Change Google, Larry. Larry. Larry, hey. Larry. Larry, change Google. Larry. Do you know why we feel the need to report this? Well, just disregarding the fact that I have a weird little obsessively cataloged folder full of every gay thing to happen in cartoons ever. Yeah. It's because nobody gives a crap. I mean, remember when Tinky Winky, the Teletubby, you know, the one with the triangular head antenna, whatever, he was accused of being gay for carrying around a magic bag. And when Spongebob was accused of being a tool in an insidious mind-washing scheme for homosexuality. I mean, it just nobody's, nobody's making a, nobody's throwing a flaming sack of crap, so to speak, at the establishment for this. And you know what? I really hate 90s nostalgia. I kind of miss the days when it was simpler, when people stirred up crap for the tiniest thing. But it's gotten to the point where the subtext is as far as it possibly can go, i.e. jumping into other people's vaginas. You know, you know, like the... You know! Can I go back to those days? Well, we'll just have to ask my old friend. This jar of elephant tranquilizers! <laughs>